it came out in a report yesterday that Aaron Rodgers speaking to the media, he said that, you know, when Jordan Love was drafted, he had a couple drinks that night and uh, needed to calm down a little bit. But, but he holds no, you know, bad attitudes towards the kid. And I, I believe that I, I, I'm not one of those people that thinks Aaron Rodgers is this like horrible guy that like, you know, <laughs> hates everybody, which, you know, for some reason has kind of be like really became his mantra for some reason. Yeah. And he, it's kind of like Jay Cutler. He's kind of like a, in a similar way. Um, but also he said that the Packers want to play him. And he understands that like the Packers want to play Jordan Love, right? With with uh, the Packers being in a real cap crunch next year, like they're currently about seven million dollars under the cap for next season. And they have to give contracts to Aaron Jones and Kenny Clark, which Aaron Jones contract is projected to be about 12 to 13 million. Kenny Clark is projected to be about 18 million. Is there any opportunity that this is Aaron Rodgers last year? I, I think there is, and that's why the rumor mill is kind of already swirling. I think I saw the headline pop up yesterday about the Bears, you know, about you know whether or not he would come here. And I think I think he would love to come here. I don't know if we could make that happen though. I think what I saw is that he was like, and I don't know if this is a hundred percent true or not. I'm just pulling this straight from my memory. Is that it'd be like you know, tough to like tough to like say whether or not he would do that or not, you know, or something like mm-hmm. around those around those lines. And I'm sure like you know. This is a man that's played at Green Bay his entire career. I think moving to any team, you know, even, you know, especially a division rival that he's played against his whole career would be tough. So I think it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a huge decision for him. But I I think this could very well be his last year. I mean, if he's getting those kind of vibes then I already, then I don't think much is going to change. You know, because if that's what the coaching staff's intent is to do, and if Aaron Rodgers is already feeling that, they're not going to really continue to comfort Aaron Rodgers and be like, no, 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 we assure you, like, we want you to stick around. Like, if the coaching staff wants to play love and Rodgers realizes that, then that's fine. It just makes it easier for him because then he can just, you know, it's not going to be that messy of a split. It's going to be mutual. Yeah, and I don't believe that the Packers will actually – you know, trade Aaron Rodgers. I, the, there's certain players in the NFL where they're kind of untradeable and like as respect, like to be a respectful organization, I think that there'll just be a mutual split. I don't know how much money he has left on his deal next year or if there's any guaranteed money, but I'm sure that Rodgers would restructure in order to just get out and find a new home. I think that Rodgers would love to play in Chicago. I think that would be a dream come true for him. He He's getting pushed out by... It seems like every single year they bring in a new person that kind of wants to push him out even further. So Brian Gutekunst and uh, obviously Matt Lafleur, and they they go, they go out and they draft a, they draft a quarterback. I mean, he even if he doesn't say it to the media, I feel like every quarterback just how you know to be the type of competitor that Aaron Rodgers is, he's going to hold that a little bit against his organization. He's going to take that a little bit personally. And that's why I think Rodgers, I think playing for the Bears for him would be uh, essentially like a dream come true because he would have an insane defense to be playing with, an absolutely insane defense, nothing like he's ever played with before. He'd have, you know, at that point, we'd probably have, we'd have a first round pick that we could, you know, put into a wide receiver for him. He'd have Allen Robinson, Anthony Miller, David Montgomery. He has some good tight ends for once. The offensive line is okay. Um we, and, and then, you know, a, a good amount of picks in the, in the next year that we could dedicate completely to the offense. And then, hey, you know, a, a head coach that run that one coach of the year a year ago and a GM that one, you know, executive of the year just one year prior. So, like, I think from a Rodgers perspective and on top of that, it's in the same division as the team that just screwed you over. I think from Rodgers perspective, that's, you know, a home run. That'd be a home run for him. My concern is I don't think the Bears could manage that. Like I was looking at our cap numbers earlier before we started the podcast. It seems like we are going into the offseason with about a negative $11 million in cap. If it, you know, this is if things go into full effect, which I'm assuming they will, because I think that the NFL is going to have a large loss in revenue. So if it goes into full effect, which means the salary cap is like $24 million less than this year, the Bears 
can create probably they can cut that they can get out of the 11 million dollars pretty much alone on the Jimmy Graham contract cutting him and then you know guys like Bobby Massey and you know lower level guys we that we could get rid of and and probably find replacement starters pretty quickly um we can easily get out of the hole and we could pr- easily give Allen Robin Allen Robinson a contract but it's going to take some real cap manipulations in order to get you know Rodgers on our books I don't I'm sure he'll still just as much care about getting paid and if he hits free agency it is going to be a massive contract given to him a massive contract yeah oh yeah without a doubt um you know I think there's a lot of interesting tooling that could be done if the Bears absolutely wanted to go get him. They could make it happen, you know, without a doubt in my mind. But at the same time, it's like how how far do you want to go, you know, especially yeah. for for someone of his age. But then at the same time, you think, well, he's still playing amazing for that age. So it's a real uh, it'd be a real predicament for them to be in. But it's almost a, a good you know, predicament, like if you decide not to go after him, then, you know, you end up being able to retain, you know, most of these players, but still probably have to cut a few people just because of the drop in the mm-hmm. salary cap. Or, you know, if you decide to cut a bunch of players, well, you end up with Aaron Rodgers, which, you know, that's that's good too. So, yeah, it'll be, uh, it's going to be very interesting to see how this whole situation plays out. I think, you know, this upcoming off season for the NFL with everything that's going on and with the expected cap drop, it's just going to be insane. So I'm expecting, I'm ready for so many storylines with probably the Rogers one leading everything if that ends up coming to fruition. And Pat McAfee was talking about how much he would love to see Rogers in a Bears uniform. He said the uniform would look sexy on him. He's going to be, you know, the badass Chicago needs. He's a perfect man for the city. You know, blue collar, tough, play in the snow. Everything we need Mac- right in one package. If Pat McAfee has given it the the green light, then I'm all for it. You know, I think <laughs> that uh, you know, it'd be interesting. It'd be very interesting to see him in the Bears uniform. I think it would be, it would seem very odd at first, but then I'm sure it would very it would get you know, it was kind of like seeing Peyton like Manny in any other uniform that wasn't a Colts, you know, uniform. It'd be weird. But then, you know, he... he Brady, kinda, Brady in a Bucks uniform? What the hell? Yeah. What type probably, of alternative universe do we live in where not only we have to wear a mask every time we go outside, but Brady is in a Bucks uniform? Right. And that's kind of just a testament that anything can happen, right? I mean, anything can happen. I don't think that many people ever thought that Tom Brady would leave the New England Patriots. And I, it's a hell of a lot less far-fetched to think that, you know, Rodgers is A, going to leave the Packers. That That's almost a given. And then B join the Bears. I don't think that's this is not nearly as crazy as Tom Brady leaving in my mind, at least. No, and the funny thing is that the the Packers actually have an option to replace Rodgers with. New England didn't even have an option for Brady. They just let, let him walk. They just let him walk completely. And the Packers have an option to replace him, and they seem to want to play him pretty well, and they seem to be really into him. So I guess we're just gonna have to see where that goes. Hey guys, like our video, subscribe, and check out our bi-weekly podcasts on Apple Podcasts. Thanks.